The industry is urged to address structural racism after study links race and likelihood of COVID-19 in nursing homes, and New York lawmakers mandate minimum staffing for nursing homes and hospitals. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, May 12, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member for only $30 a year. You can enroll quickly on our website at nacacna.org. Following a study that linked the likelihood of COVID-19 cases and deaths in a nursing home to the racial makeup of its surrounding community, a New York-based research team is calling on the federal government to address structural racism and its negative health impacts on minorities. The findings by the University of Rochester-led research team were published Sunday in the Journal of Post-Acute and Long-Term Care Medicine. They showed facilities with higher proportions of black and Hispanic residents and higher rates of COVID-19 within their community and the rates of cases increased depending on whether the surrounding community had more people of color. Specifically, the rate of COVID-19 cases in low, moderate, and high minority nursing homes was 5.5%, 11.1%, and 14.8% respectively in low minority communities. The same rate of cases was found to be 10.6%, 14.5%, and 20.4% respectively for, for facilities in high minority communities. Overall, investigators found that nursing homes with high proportions of minorities had 5% to 7.2% higher chance of having COVID-19 cases within their facilities and between a 26 to 6.4% higher chance of having COVID-19 related deaths. The findings are in line with several previous studies that have found race to be a key factor in facility outbreaks. They suggested federal health officials need to, quote, need to make, quote, additional efforts to reduce structural racism and address social risk factors to improve quality of care and population health in communities of color. The New York State Legislature approved measures that will require hospitals and nursing homes to meet minimum staffing levels of nurses and other health care staff. Measures mandating minimum staffing at healthcare facilities have been around for several years, but the spotlight on stressed and understaffed hospitals and nursing homes during the pandemic finally prompted the bill's passage. Senate sponsor and health committee chair Gustavo Rivera spoke before the vote. Quote, this is an historic event, said Rivera, who added that in the decade he's held office, he's had more meetings on this topic than any other issue. The measures provide different approaches to hospitals and nursing homes. The state health commissioner would establish minimum staffing levels for nursing homes and would impose civil penalties if the homes fail to meet the, those minimum standards. Each resident would receive an average of 3.5 hours of care each day with at least one hour from a registered or licensed practical nurse and two hours from certified nursing assistants. The new rules would take effect in January. The measure comes after a provision in the state budget that requires nursing homes to spend 70% of their revenue on direct patient care with 40% of that amount on their staffing. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday.